whether it's cornea, whether it's contact lens, whether it's refractive technologies. I mean, these are the leaders. It's been the single best professional decision I've ever made. For me, it's like kind of family I want to see every year. It takes basically today's research and turns it into tomorrow's practice. It turns you into a better doctor, without a doubt. Being a diplomat to me has been an incredibly powerful tool in so many different ways. Optometry, or contact lenses specifically, have changed in 20 years. So this is my way of keeping updated by maintaining my, my diplomates. It's an expert group, and becoming a diplomat is way more important than being one because the process of becoming one, as hard as it is, makes you an expert. Doing my diplomate, I've ended up having that thesis, part of that thesis published in Optometry and Vision Science now, so I think it was a really worthwhile process. It's ultimately better for our patients. They're the ones that are going to be the recipients of the best care that, um, and the best practices that we're trying to instill. When I think about the process, one thing that comes to mind is all the support that I got from family and friends, and even friends who are outside of the optometry realm, like, I'll watch your kids so you can work on your case reports, or things like that. Like, they were all cheering me on, which was really nice. In case reports, you have a, a couple of people grade them, and so you hear things from different angles. Every time I would turn in a case report, I'd learn so much more about the, the specific topic. It's really brought a lot to my practice. The practical exam where we're looking at patients and there are um, you know, phenomenal doctors uh, looking over your shoulder, asking you questions, um, it's, it's really eye-opening to, to be able to understand what you don't know. With everything that I've prepared for, through the written examination, through the slides, through um, conversing with colleagues, and going through self-studying and just kind of making myself a better individual and practitioner all the way around. And this is the moment of time that I get to shine and, and show everyone this is what I've learned through this process. For me, it was probably one of the most stimulating, challenging, and professionally gratifying experiences I've had. It's the oldest section, it's the largest section, it's the most active and involved section. Historically, contact lenses has been such a opportunity for the profession of optometry. It's really one of the things that put us on the map professionally. The contact lens diplomate is at a higher level as far as education and requirements to become a member than other groups where you just pay your dues and you're a member. There are many different sections, there are many different groups. And whatever you like to do in clinic, you find the people that are the best in the field in that area. And the diplomates in the cornea contact lens and refractive technologies, without a doubt, are the experts in those areas. The diplomates in our section, these are the movers, the shakers, the builders, the inventors of contact lenses. You just have to make the decision that this is something you want to do and jump in with two feet. Somebody's got to play in the major leagues. Somebody's got to be an expert in contact pointing contact lens refractive technology to develop new research, to challenge the norms, to encourage practitioners to, to not be just good enough, but to play at that highest, highest level. The time invested in this, obviously, is to make yourself a better clinician so that you can practice to the highest level that you can for your patients. It would be helpful for research diplomats to make sure that they have a mentor, that they talk to other people who've been through that process. We all have other commitments. We have day jobs, all of us, and uh, just have to find the right time for you to enhance your professional experience and I think it's really important to get involved to the next level of involvement at the Academy Beyond Fellowship. It's not easy to do, they don't give these things away, it, it is something that you have to earn, but it's worth it. Now as chair, I think those are the experiences that I treasure most. Watching people come through the process, seeing the, the joy on their face, and also having them recognize that it's hard, but they've learned something and that's the point. We absolutely are rooting for you, we want you part of our team.